current is going to flow and this is my cl because of i in let's go hi everyone today i am going to discuss a gate 2024 question where it has been said that there is a long channel in most transistor which is biased in saturation so because since it is biased in saturation so there is no dc voltages which is given or any kind of bias voltages or bias currents are not given only the ac equivalent is given and then it is said that the small signal transconductance of the transistor is gm so say if you give a voltage across the gate to source like this one say vgs so if you apply a gate to source voltage say this is my source this is my source this is my gate so from drain to source from drain to source you will get a current which is equal to vgs okay and they have said that there is no body effect no channel length modulation so since there is no channel length modulation output impedance output impedance of this um, mosfet will be infinite and also since they have said that there is no body effect so so now if you see that the body will be connected with the lowest potential in the circuit so which is ground and now you can see that there is from say from body so from body to source there is a voltage which is there but here they are saying that there is no body effect so you can ignore this part so you can ignore the body effect part okay and also there are some other intrinsic device capacitance from gate to source there will be a capacitance from gate to drain there will be a capacitance but they are actually ignoring it they have said that there is an so now they have said that what will be the small signal input impedance z in w so it means that that if you apply a say a voltage an ac voltage over here and the current which is flowing so they said that find out z in z in z in which is equal to say v in which is my applied voltage divided by i in so that is they want to say and they just want to see so now what will be our approach so if you are drawing entire uh, small signal small signal diagram and then you are calculating it will take too much of time but it is just a one mark question so naturally we can't waste so much of time so you can see here this is the same circuit which i have given so here we can see that there is a current so if we apply an i in that i in is going to flow like this and there is already a voltage which is applied over here okay because here no current is going to flow but since a, a, an another current is going to flow here the current is going to flow so naturally there will be a voltage drop at, from this node to this node so naturally the voltage drop across the gate to source is vgs and now from drain to source there will be a current which is gm into vgs gm into vgs and now you can see that this gm is gm vgs is also going to flow over here so now what we can conclude and let me clear one thing also like this is my c1 and this is my cl i in plus gm into vgs this current is going to flow so so you can see that there are two currents which is flowing over here so now you can see that one i in is common i in is also flowing through over here and i in also flowing through here so because of i in we can actually see c1 and cl are in series because same current is flowing only i in considering at a time and so we are going to get an impedance like 1 uh, by j omega c1 plus 1 by j omega cl so suppose i am saying that only this i in is flowing from here only i in is flowing so what we will see we will see that c1 and cl are in series i am not considering about this one okay and now what is going to happen that there is also a gm vgs which is 
also flowing so now you can see that because of gmvgs across this node you are going to get a voltage of gmvgs divided by g omega cl because the current is gmvgs and divided by your impedance so what is the impedance 1 by g omega cl so this is the voltage you are going to get and you will see that this is okay and now if you since i have already said your vgs your vgs is equal to i in divided by g omega c1 this is the voltage across from this point to this point just this this two point okay so you have seen that your vgs is equal to i in divided by g omega c1 now if you replace it now you will see that because of this gm vgs you are going to get another impedance which is minus gm by uh you can just replace it there is nothing so uh, like there is a j there is a j so that is why there will be a minus 1 and it is minus gm by omega square c acha so now i am going to tell you that if you are computing the impedance so naturally z in bar will be v divided by the current i in and so now what okay here the there you can see that there are two colors one is because of i in and another one is because of gm vgs so because of gm vgs so if we consider it like v divided by i in so then we are going to get it okay so this is solely because of i in and this is because of gm vgs and this gm vgs which you have seen is like gm divided by omega square and there will be a minus into c1 into cl times i in okay so this is this is because of this factor and you will see through c1 only i in is flowing but through cl a much larger current is flowing okay, suppose this is not there so naturally it will be 1 by j omega c1 plus 1 by j omega cl so suppose say there is an impedance z but now what has happened we have added another term this is the term which is added so now the impedance got modified so so from the above you can see that 1 by j omega c1 is there 1 by j omega cl so this is the contribution of i in so this is from here if i in is flowing it is show, it is seeing this this one and say there is since there is a gm vgs which is flowing over here so with respect to i in if you are computing with respect to i in then you are going to get this impedance acha now there is one doubt let me clear it that why it is i in because i am measuring with here if i am seeing the impedance from here then it is vgs divided by j omega cl if i am seeing from this point for the question we need to check the impedance from the input point so that is the reason we are checking with respect to i in now some additional point which i want to say that since two currents are flowing so i in and gm vgs so there might be a frequency where these two currents can actually cancel each other and zero current is flowing through cl and this indeed can create a zero current through cl okay thank you